Please, I want you to take this thing easy. Just calm down, calm down. I can't. Can't you understand? I can't calm down. Your Highness, you want more than a million eggs. Your head should be paramount to us now, not even the outcome of the delivery. You cannot differentiate between my health and the outcome of the delivery. Exactly. Perhaps this is my last chance. I'm not getting any younger, you know. Iwe, I know you are right. You are right, but you are still our king and as such. Very, very valuable to us. You are important to us. Of course. Success without a successor is no success at all. My king, I believe that the girls will put a smile on your face this time around. Yes, they will. I have been believing the same for the past two and a half decades. <laughs> <laughs> Gender was it? Don't, don't tell me it's another girl. No, 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 no. I won't take it from you. Don't tell me it's another girl. I'm sorry, my king. But the queen gave birth to a girl child. Shh. Oh, huh? Woo -hoo. Uh, my king, 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 no, 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 Your Highness. What am I doing here? Your Highness, you passed out last night. The elders and I rushed you to this place. And ever since, the doctors have worked tirelessly to revive you, Your Highness. Uh, is it true that the baby is a girl? Um. Your Highness, I humbly suggest that you forget about what happened last night and concentrate more on your health because that's the most important thing, Your Highness. Oh, Alex. Am I under... Do I look like someone under a curse? Not at all, my king. You're the envy of every other king in this part of the earth. Your wisdom, your wealth, your fame as such, enviable ones, Your Highness. Without a sound on air to succeed me, the palace needs a prince. But Your Highness, I'm already in the palace. A prince not by name of Balaise. I mean a prince by birth. But Your Highness, a prince is a prince, whether by birth or by name. <laughs> My queen, I need to use the car today. And I've told you that the both of you cannot make use of the jeep again. You have your cars. Make use of it. My queen, are you aware you're the reason Akueza does not respect me in this palace? And what is that supposed to mean? Ever since I came into the palace, I've always respected you as the Ezra one. The queen and the first wife. Why wouldn't Akuwezu respect me as well? So how is it my problem? It is your problem! You're not carrying out your duty as the first wife in this palace. How would you scold the both of us equal? Shh. How dare you stand before me and utter words of calamity? How dare you have you no respect? I have kept quiet for so long. It is high time I spoke out. Akweza does not have any respect for me. It is either you do the right thing or I'll keep fighting to get my full right in this palace.
is wrong with you? Can't you see that the king just arrived into the palace? My queen, it is better he hears us. I am sick and tired of being humiliated by a woman I saw when she was brought in here. Enough is enough. What's going on here? My king, my king, you're welcome. I said what is going on here? My king, it's nothing to worry yourself about. I heard voices from outside. And you tell me there's nothing to worry about? Um, my king, Akweza is taking rather too much in this palace. How can she use the new jeep I want to make use of? And Ezin Wine here is doing nothing about it. Oh my goodness. Again? Again? How many times will I warn you not to convert this palace into a fighting and quarreling ground over property? How many times? Did I not buy each of you a car? Why should a car be an issue now? I'm so sorry. I'm sorry it will never happen again. The reason you are here is to give me a son, an heir to the throne, not to turn the palace into a fighting ground. None of you has been able to give me a son. All you do is fight. You can't even let me have peace in my palace. We're sorry, my king. I think it's about time I sent all of you packing out of this palace. Yes, about time I sent you packing. No. All they do is fight, fight, and fight for my things. Not one of them can give me a son. Your Majesty, you just got discharged from the hospital. I suggest you relax. You need adequate rest now. There's no place I can get any rest. Not even in my own palace. You can, Your Majesty. Only if you can take your mind and eyes off these things happening around you. Well, I wish I could. I really wish I could. You can, Your Majesty. Try to take some rest, Your Majesty. My King, we are all happy to have you back after a three days stay in the hospital bed. Here you are welcome home. Thank you. Thank you all. I was told what tremendous efforts you all made to see me through to recover my health. I was even told that some of you slept on hospital seats during the time. I'm really appreciative of it. Thank you very much. Igwe, uh, Igwe, we should be grateful to the cause of Uduma Kingdom for this great work. Otherwise, what we did could have been worthless if they had not wished you well again. Yes, the gods be praised. He said. He said. Well, once there is life, we have to move on. So, my elders, we must move on. Yes. Thank you. Yes, Your Highness, and then uh, in moving on, I think we have to address this issue once and for all. Which issue is this, Ichi Okwako? Um, the issue that brought about your sudden health failure. Uh, since these women cannot give you an heir to the throne, I think the best thing is for us to ignore them and get another virgin for our king. <coughs> yes, Your Highness. Uh, Ichi Onou Okwako 
is right. Our Igbo <coughs> here has the right to marry as many wives as he wants. Exactly. Yes. Provided he gets his desire. Ichi Okuako. How many wives do you have in your compound? Um, your Highness, one. But no but. No but. And how many do you have in your compound, Ichi Um, Your Highness, it's one, but... I tell you what, I am disappointed that you came here to discuss this item. Any time any of you raises such an issue with me anymore, I will... In fact, this meeting is over. Your Highness, Igwe, 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 where have we gone wrong? I don't know. I wonder. You know the kind of trouble your wife gives you at home. Eh? You imagine when you have them three in the house. But they are trying to help him. It is for his own favor. For his own favor. Fools! 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 All they do is to push me to marry, 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 as if marriage was my problem! I want them to be blind. And there are not enough women in this palace. Wives and daughters. Wives and daughters. Wives and daughters. I need a son! You sent for me, my queen. You were on duty during the just concluded section in the king's court. Yes, my queen. And I believe you heard everything. Yes, my queen. So, why was the king upset? The point to get the, the king a fourth wife got him very upset, my queen. And who raised the point? Which of the others raised the point? Um, with due respect, my queen, I am not expected to talk about anything that happens in the court as it is against the ethics of my job, my queen. I demand to know now. I'm sorry, my queen, I cannot betray my conscience. In other words, you are saying no to my demand. My queen, I'm very sorry. That demand I cannot grant. Get out. Thank you, my queen. Out! What is it? What do you want? I'm sorry, my king. I overheard you talking and I wanted to inquire what the problem is. You really wish to know? Of course, my king. I need a son. Do you have any to give me? Uh, my, my king, I, I... Get out of this. Get out before I lose my temper on you this instant. I'm sorry, my king. Idiots. Idiots, all of you. All you do in this palace is to eat, drink, wear new clothes and expensive jewelry. Not one. Not one of you can give me a son, an heir to this throne. Idiots. I told you it was not necessary. But you didn't listen to me. What kind of life is this? I'm fed up. Aquezel, what kind of, what sort of marriage is this? Royal marriage. You're married to King Odogu of Oduma Kingdom. Or could it be better than that? I should have known better.
And who are you? My king. It's me, your queen. I don't have any queen. Uh, my king, you're drunk. How would you know that? Take your filthy hands off me! I'm sorry, my king. How can you be my queen when you cannot give me a son? Ah. Tomorrow. I wish to know why I was summoned to this meeting. <laughs> um, Your Highness, I would like to speak as the mouthpiece of my fellow Ndichi. Go on, no work welcome. After our last meeting with you, we sat and decided that you should see reason with us. What reason, no? Your Highness, I, I think you should give us some patience. Don't step on my toes or no work, Wako. It's really not my intention to do so. Uh, but at least, uh, I mean, you should hear us out. Let me help Ono Wako. My king, whatever affects the eyes also affects the nose. It is only a foolish man who rejoices over his brother's predicament. Your father was the only son of his father. You also turn out to be the only of your father. Right from the origin of Oduma kingdom, Odogu family has never ceased to produce a king. Why should you change your own time? Mm. And so? To keep the ball rolling, I should fill the entire palace with wives and women. <coughs> you see, if there is any other way to eat my king, believe me, we would have loved to follow it. But as it stands now, there is no other way. Hmm. But has any of you thought about this from a different angle. Suppose the gods themselves are responsible for my inability to get a son and heir to this throne. Even if I married a dozen wives, they'll still be having women and daughters. But why, my king? Why? Why would the gods deny you and eh, why? That is the question we should be asking ourselves now. That is the question. Afana <coughs> <coughs> When an adult is tired of raising that which belongs to a toddler, he brings down his hands for a toddler to take what belongs to him. Hmm. That flies so high has within his uh, mind the belief that he has outflown. When his weak feathers are worn out, he sees himself at the mercy of uh, the toad. There is nothing but blindness that makes the snail feels that his journey, his journey is an endless one. Where his eyes opened, he should have seen that he's only running circle and circle without starting the journey at all. Ezemo, you have spoken too much 
in riddles that we cannot even comprehend is relevant to why we are here. Um, can you speak to us in the language of men? <coughs> <laughs> King Godogu is right. The gods are behind his uh, predicaments. But what he does not know is that it's only for a purpose and for an appointed time. Look at it. Ichi <sighs> go and tell the Igwe the outcome of our meeting with Ezemu. Janayo, let's go. For a purpose, and at an appointed time. For what purpose, and at what appointed time? Um, my king. That I didn't hear from him. This is not getting funny any longer, Ichia Nazir. Not at all. Um, what shall we do now? The purpose we do not know. But the appointed time we can manipulate. You see, Ichia Nazir, I am not getting any younger. You're right. You're perfectly right. Ugomma. Aquaza. Yes, my king. I have called you both here and kept you standing so that you don't see me now in this court as here constituted as the man you married. But you see me as King Odogu of Oduma Kingdom, whose word is not challenged. I'd like you to listen attentively to what I'm going to say. We're listening, my king. You are both aware why you were brought into this palace. to bear me a son. My queen, Oledo, was not able so to do. And the doctors have said that if she tries any other delivery, she will not come out of it alive. According to our custom and tradition, children in the palace are not born out of caesarean operations. They must be born by natural delivery. Therefore, as it stands now, I don't have a queen because Oledo is not in a position to give me a son. That is why you are both here to give me a son, a prince, an heir to this throne. So I'm giving you a golden opportunity, a final chance. Any of you who first gives me a son will become my queen. The other will have to live with Oledo. I am Tired. I need a prince, a son, an heir to this throne. Give me a son, or else go with your daughters out of this palace. That is my decision. This is your choice. Take it or leave it. Do you understand me clearly? Yes, my king. Very well.
Thank you. Oh, ya Allah. Hold. Anja Mike. Anja Mike. Anja Gabriel. Ah. from you is an offering of thanksgiving with faith. Ah! Yes! Yes, Yeshua. Yeshua, I can hear you. I can hear you. Yes. Yes. Bring up your thanksgiving materials into the house of Yeshua. He shall tell you the next way into your heart desire. Yes, yes, yes. Press, 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 Oh, carry the horse in our boy. 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 Oh, dear boy. Oh, my mama. Oh, carry the horse in our boy. Oh dear, Bube, oh my Rama, oh carry the horse in Obwe, oh carry the horse in Obwe, oh carry the horse in Obwe. Hey, hey. Madam, your husband is under a curse. A curse? Uh, yes, a curse. And no matter how many women he sleeps with, none can bear him a son. Hey, uh, see ya. Uh, what do we do now, eh? What do we do? Hey. Yeah. See, nothing can be done to avert it. It is a perpetual curse and a everlasting one. Hey! See ya. Uh, yes. Now. Just heed to my advice. That is all. You'll find out once you sleep, okay? What is the advice? <sighs> okay. See, when next you come here, yeah. I'll tell you what to do. Okay? You can go. Yeah. You can go. Thank, thank you, Sia. Thank you very much. Thank you. Shouldn't you be with your daughter, woman? My king, the maids are with our daughter. I have no strength to waste. Please leave my chamber. My love, I only came to ask you to give me one more chance. Please, so I... So I can give you a son. I will not disappoint you this time around. Please, my husband. The doctor said that if you tried again, you will not come out of it alive. That was exactly what they said in my two deliveries before now. This time was different. You were in labor for one whole day. You kept me standing from morning till night. Any other attempt on it would be much more serious and could indeed be fatal. My king, my love, my husband, just one more chance, then I will give you a son. I have given up on you, Oledo. My king. Yes. My king. My king. Please, my king. 
all I want from you is one more chance. I will never disappoint you. I will give you a son. My husband, it is my duty to give you a son. Oledo, please leave my chamber. And don't bother to come again on any other visit. I have given up on you. No. I have given up on you. No, 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 my king. My king, please don't do, do this to me. I have seen all you brought. <clears throat> I have seen them. Your giving has touched the heart of Yahushua. And Yahushua is willing to give you your heart desire. Before he mounts on you, make sure you rub this anointing oil on your private part. It will wash away all the causes on him that has prevented him from having a son. Thank you very much, Prophet. Thank you. May Yahushua be praised forever. I can't do this. No, I can't. Yes, I can. Igwe needs a son. And if that's the only way to give him a son, why going back? <laughs> Who says being the next queen of Oduma kingdom is a crime? I can do it. What if Igwe finds out? No, 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 no. There is no way he will find out. Yes, I can. Ah, oh, I'm sure that our love making this night will result in a son for this kingdom. I am too certain of that, my lord. Mm. Then come, come, my dear, and let's produce an heir for this kingdom. <laughs> oh, yes. <laughs> Uh, what is this? This is an anointing oil. Anointing oil? Yes. He told us to consult our gods. I consulted mine and he told me to rub this on my private part before you make love to me. Hmm. What for? This will break the curse that prevents me from giving you a son. Hmm. Yeah. <laughs> In that case, I better rub some of it too on my manhood so that its magic will together ensure that we have an heir for this kingdom. Yes. All right. Hardened by your ungodly quest for fame and wealth. I hope you are seeing the problem you, you've created for your daughter from the land beyond. I hope you are enjoying this whole series of events with me. Oh, 
Thank you. My king. I've been waiting for you in my chamber these many days. What's going on? My king, I'm waiting on nature. Let it pertain to me as it pertains to a woman in her eggs. My king. I see. I understand that perfectly. But what I don't understand is, it never used to take that long before. Uh, patience, my king. Patience. All right. for me um yes please don't be angry um you do you still have that pills you normally give to the king the sleeping pills you mean exactly i really need it i've not been able to sleep yes i still have it but why didn't you ask the maid to tell me about the pills since you asked her to call me please i need you to get it please okay i have to go back inside are you sure you're all right not really i have this tearing headache I'll be fine. Okay, I'm really sorry about the headache. Just give me some time. I'll go get the pills, all right? But I asked her to wait for me. I told her she... I told her to give me some time. Did you see the king's second wife? What sort of a question is that? Are you well at all? No. It seemed to me like I am dreaming. What is it? I was in my room. One of the maidens came to me. She told me that the king's second wife wants to see me. That she needed my attention. I came outside. I saw her. She talked about being sick or feeling sick. That she needed some sleeping pills. So I asked her to wait for me while I go bring the sleeping pills. I got here and I cannot find her. <laughs> Is that why you're troubled? I asked her to wait for me and she's not here, so I'm confused. Maybe she wants you to bring it in her chambers. Her chambers? Go and get it. Her chambers? There you go, I was looking for you. Um, what is it? Look, shh. Do it with me. Do it. Do what? Do it, please. <laughs> Do it. Wait, 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 wait. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. Is it some kind of a joke or something? <laughs> you requested for pills, right? Here they are. I'll leave. He cannot have it by himself. I need you to help me, please. please. I, I need it. I need it. Wait, 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 wait! How dare you? You want me to sleep with you, the king's wife? You want to kill me? Listen, I'll pretend none of this happened. Don't touch me again, please. You've seen my nakedness. 
you have two choices. It's either you sleep with me and walk out of that door, or you refuse. You explain to the king what you're doing in my room at this time. Choose one. Listen, I, I, I understand how you feel, right? But this is not the right one. Time. Abomination. Because he's not afraid. That is it. You know, I am completely speechless on this matter. Kairi Rimonu, why are we even deliberating on this issue? That young man is a nobody. It's not even a freeborn of Uduba Kingdom. So what do we waste our precious time deliberating on this issue? So Igwe, what are you saying? Send him to the executioners tomorrow, as the traditions demand. Please, there is something I wish to tell you. Go ahead. I was not in the room in the door of that incident. But well, prior to that time, Obeleze came to me and was telling me of how Ugoma woke him up, asking for peers. Hmm. Why are you telling me this story? Uh, Your Highness, maybe Ugoma. I don't know, but if you ask me, Your Highness, Abeliz is innocent. He did not do it. Are you accusing my wife of lying? How dare you? I'm sorry, my king. I'm sorry. I saw them with my own eyes in bed. How come you're telling me a cock and bull story? I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Your Highness. Get out of this place now before I suspect you of being an accomplice to the abomination. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Your Highness. him here for. Take him out. 
Your Highness, he wishes to speak with you. I don't want to hear anything from him. My, no, 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 stop. My king, my king, please. He, he, he wants to speak to you. What do you have to say? And you better be fast about it. Thank you, my queen. Your Highness, I'm not here to plead for my innocence. Because I do not have enough evidence to prove to you that I'm innocent. I do not have anything against you either. Because I know you are acting. Because of what you heard or you probably saw. What I saw with my two eyes. I'm just here to make one wish. Which is, I beg you in the name of the gods, let me see my mother before I die. I'm the only son she has. I don't know what will become of her if I die. I have a message for her, Your Highness. Please let me see her, please. I don't have such time. Take him away. Now. My spirit will never forgive you. If I die without seeing my mother. myself for killing an innocent boy. Opaleze was innocent. I lied against him. Your craving for a son led me into the wrong place. I was told to sleep with one of the guards. That's the only way you could have a son. I only wanted to make you happy, Igwe. I did not intend to shed innocent blood. <laughs> Goodbye, Igwe. <laughs> who, who, who did this? <laughs> oh, let's wake up. Wake up. Wake up. <laughs> hmm? No. No! No! Son, but I didn't believe what I saw with my eyes. She made me kill him. I killed him. Oh, but it's all right. <laughs> my king, no. All right, it's okay. The elders are waiting for you in court. Tell them I don't want to see anybody. I wish to be left alone. Oh, 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 o
do just that, but you have to stop crying uh, like a baby. You are not a baby. You are the king. The king of our land. Uh, a king with the heart of stone. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> think it is necessary for me to go in there and have a word with him? No. No, not at all. He will be fine. Oh, if you say so. Uh, we only want to know what happened to Goma's body. <sighs> the king ordered that it should be thrown into the evil forest at once yesterday. That's right. Uh, in that case, I, I shall be with the elders immediately. Are you the one going with me? Yes, my king. No. Go ahead and call up a Yes, my king. My king. Must it be a balance? You did not know how much I love that boy. Why don't you take him as a fourth wife? His name is Obaleze. Gives me the hope. That one day, I'll have a prince in this palace. I'm sorry, my king. The queen gave the order. I am now giving you a standing order. You go with me today, and indeed, every other day. Understood, my king. The palace needs a prince. But your highness, I'm already in the palace. A prince not by the name of Balaze. I mean a prince by birth. But your highness, a prince is a prince, whether by birth or by name. Balaze. <laughs> <laughs> Malaise. Oh, Malaise. Will your spirit ever forgive me? Oh, Malaise. 
Oh. You sent for me. Mm. I want you to go to the Mackindom for me. Oh, Mackindom? Oh, I'm sorry, I can't go. That place is too far. I, I was even wondering why you have to send your son to place to go that far uh, to work. No, I, I can't go there. You don't know. Be cool. hmm? Since six months now, I have not heard from my son. He does come on Christmas Eve. He did not come. He did not send any message. Eh? My father is your friend. Eh? Please, I want you to go and see if all is well with him. I am worried. I think you better go there yourself. Oh. Mom, Olam, God forbid. Oh, you will not go to my kingdom, but you want to go to Ku to go for you. I'm sorry, I can't do it. If that was why you called me, I'm sorry. I, I, I can't do it. Ugo, Ma. Ugo, please. Ugo, come. Ma. Hola, man. Who is that? It's me, oh. It's one in Gua. Hey. Hey, what? How are you, Gua? Hey, how are you? I'm fine. Ah, uh, please. There's this my cassava farm that wants you to come and harvest for me. Yeah. Which one? Is it the one uh, beside Simbeli's land? Mm -mm, it's not that one. There's this my farmland at Okiba. Okiba? Mm. Yeah. Do you have a land at Okiba? Uh, you don't know the place. You've not been there before. But I'll show you the place. Okay. Yeah. How much will you pay me now? Uh, you know the way we usually do it now. We'll divide the cassava into four. You will take one, I will take three. Uh -huh. When are we going? Now! That's why I'm here. I came to check if you're less busy. No. Mm -hmm. What is it? I was preparing to go to Oduma Kingdom to, to do some certain things. But this one you are saying that you want it today. Don't worry, I will do the job first mm, because I need money. <laughs> There's never a time you don't need money. You eh? will not understand. Yeah. Yeah. If you understand it, it won't be meaningful again. <laughs> don't worry, let me bring my tools. Eh? Okay. Uh, Please hurry you. Uh, don't worry, I'm coming. Okay. <laughs> hey. mm -hmm. I hope you lost the door. Don't worry. Do I have anything? <laughs> I don't have anything there. Up to this point. Up to here. So from here down. From that place. Eh? Do you understand? The head. So, come on, stand. I was thinking that this farmland belongs to Mazia Balanze's wife. You mean Mbako? Eh? Mban, this is my farmland. Eh? Yeah. But I used to see her and her two sons farming on this farmland. <laughs> well, that is true. But early this year, eh, my son bought this farmland from Mazia Balanze. Eh? Uh -huh. <laughs> Oh, mm. <laughs> mm. Please, I'm sorry for no, no problem, it's okay. I will do the job. <laughs> hey, no problem. All right. Eh? Okay. Eh? <laughs> so I'll be waiting for you in the house. You eh? don't have to. Eh? <laughs> Before two hours, eh? I will finish the whole thing. I trust you. I'm the queen of the week. They eh? respect me. <laughs> Thank you. Oh. Eliza, give me five. Okay, take five. Mm -hmm. Ibia, <laughs> tell me, how did it go? I told you I am going to send out of that vi this village. Have I you told you. That? Before, Uncle. Chai! As I'm talking to you now, she is busy stealing on Wako's cassava to bus. Mm -hmm. By now, people must have seen her. Yes, uh -huh. that serves her right. Imagine one boy. That slave of yesterday. Next time, she would know how to talk in public. Huh. Huh. Was she born here? Mm -hmm. No. Did she marry from this place? No. 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 No.
Madam, what are you doing here? Harvesting. Mm -hmm. uh. Okay. Number one. What you have been doing in this village, eh? What? What am I doing? Stop pretending as if you don't know what I'm saying, eh? Who owns this cassava you're harvesting? Who and Yampo told me to harvest cassava for her? Eh? So, ever since you started living in this village, you are not aware that Wanyampo has no farmland here, eh? Does this look like Wanyampo's farmland? She, 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 she told me. Liar like you! She, 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 she told you what? Hey! Me! Olamma! A thief! Mum! Popala is my son. Everybody knows him in this village. I also have a son. But I did not train him to abuse him. Eh! I trained my children to disrespect their elders. But we must surely get to the end of this today. Yes, Mama, we must. We must. Nonsense. What mama. are you talking about? I don't understand what you are talking about. What, what are you talking about? See, Mama, it's, it's, mama, it's okay. okay. My it's okay. okay. Why you go? Why you go is in Elisa's shop? Eh? Let's go and meet her. Mama, what are you talking? Let's go and meet her. Let's go and meet her. Let's go. Yes. Let's go. 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 let uh, my uncle, hmm? it's you we actually came to see. Again. Hmm. Are you the one that asked uh, Olam to go to my farmland and harvest my cassava for you? Me? Are you the one? Me. Did what? Hmm. Uh, Olam. Uh -huh. You mean she has finally been caught red-handed? Oh. oh. This woman has been stealing from farmland to farmland in this community. Eh? And nobody wants to talk. Oh. Hey. Hey. Me. Me, Olam. Yes. Stealing? Uh -huh. Hey. Why are you please now? Eh? Talk to them now. Why are you keeping quiet? Eh? Why well, you not the one that told me that your son bought the land from Mbaku and her husband? Me? Was that your dream or what? Was it your dream? Come, if you were caught stealing in somebody's farm, better apologize to them. Yes. Don't look at somebody to point and say. Apologize, apologize to her. Why are you Have my car. Hey, one young boy, please. One young boy, you can't do this. One young boy, one young boy. Stop. 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 I am begging you. you. Mama, you know what I told you. You said this woman so. is a thief. Oh. Hey. What do you know from this? Okay. Let's is it this my hand? Okay. Let's go. We must surely get let's to the end. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. I will tell you to Let's go. Carry it. Carry it. Let's go. I will not accept this apology. Carry it. Let's go. 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 Let's go.
I've not heard from Akbarek and my son for a very long time. Now, another blackmail. Oh, wow. Is this how my is? All I'm my. What do you have to say on this? Kuzoku, or have you gone uh, 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 deaf? The cheer for the kingdom. I greet you all. Thank you. No. no. For the past 30 years, I have lived in Ozala community as a refugee. You have bought me, gave me jobs to do. I had no roof over my head. You gave me shelter by giving me a haunt to live in and pay rent. Ever since then, I have not done anything that is against the laws of this community. Not to talk of stealing. At this my old age, when I know that I don't have another community to identify with. Olamma, oh, we know all these things, but we want you to react to the matter on the ground. Now, now. Oh. <laughs> Why am I here? Ask me to harvest a cassava on that land. That her son bought that land from Baku and her husband. And that is what I was doing. Ola Mama! Ola Mama, you said I told you what? Eh? You said I told you what? Hey, Chim! Look at this pretty tifo! Oh. Eh? Slave. Hey! When you go, can you swear by the gods? Can you swear? One that shall never end. Eh? Olama, how can I tell you to go and harvest another woman's cassava for me? Am I mad? Eh? Edas, don't mind this woman. She's a thief. Oh! She has been stealing from farmland to farmland. <laughs> and today, your sins have finally found you out. Tell her! Guyanya! It's alright, it's alright. Oh. Guyanya! It's okay, it's okay. We all know that this community harbors strangers. They take them as their brothers, as their sisters. And now that all our good deeds are being mis misconstrued, we shall go back and say no to any stranger. Yes! We don't want strangers again. We don't want them. Uh, but, oh no, she has a point. Eh? This woman has a point. Which point? She has been living in this community peacefully for a very long time. So why start now? And then? It's all right. If you understand me properly, I said here that we don't want to judge her, whether she stole cassava or not. All we are saying is that if you go to someone's house and you overstay your welcome, that person asks you to go. You should go. Yes. You don't need to be told two times to go. To go. Go. In fact, all I want is go. Yes. How welcome? But I'm going to go. You must go. You must go. You must go. 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 Go.
What kind of life is this? Where do I go from here? God is wondering my destiny. Tell me. that I am no longer here. I don't know what is happening to his mother. Oh. Please, uh, help me to keep this clothes. Mm? I will come back for them. Let me go to my kingdom and uh, look for your friend or others. Let me tell him what is going on. Huh? At least so that he won't come back to us and our kingdom and start looking for me again. It, it, it's okay. I, I, I will look after your clothes. Yeah, I, I will still come back for the clothes. Huh? Please come. Let me tell you. Don't mind that one who call and offend Eliza. Don't, don't just mind them at all. We all in this village, we know the truth. We know that you're not a thief. No. Thank you very much. I know that the gods are watching them. You will definitely judge them someday. Please. I will still come back for the clothes. Huh? Okay now, will you take a laser for me? Eh? I will. Right. Mm -hmm. okay, bye bye. Please, I advise you go home. What? I am open as this mood. I want to see my son. If I can't see Igwe, I can see my son. <laughs> Mom, why are you crying? Opalese is dead. Oh, have you people killed him? 
Where is our Balaise? Can someone tell me what's going on here? Ask her. Ask her and her wicked mother. Mama, I'm ready. What are you wearing? Okay, will you go back and change into something better? Now, what's wrong with what I'm wearing now? It's not to go to Ori Market here. I'm not going for a function. So you are in this town and you have not heard what is happening? Eh? Haven't you seen how other guests are dressing out these days? Mama, I'm not seeing anything. You have not even heard that uh, Prince Odogu is in town. His mother went and brought him down after the death of his father so he can choose a wife from Oduma Kingdom here. For more than one week, he has been going around looking for a wife. Don't you want to be a queen? I don't want to be a queen. Old man has so many damsels. You should go and choose any of them for a wife. I'm not interested. Up. Will you shut up? Shut up your mouth, John. Go in there and change into something better. Ma, let me go like this now. Ma, there is nothing wrong with what I'm wearing now. Why do you want me to do I'm trying to change? As if you won't start jumping up if he chooses you. Are you sure the prince went this direction? Yes, I am very sure. We have to hurry up. No, no, no. Let's walk gently. He must come back by this road. And he was expensive. We are not too sure. What if he decides to take the Ihingodo road? So what are you saying? Let's hurry up and see if we can meet him. What? Why didn't the prince summon all the girls in this kingdom to the palace? Like his father and the kings before him did. It would have been easier for him to choose a bride. Why all the girls are gathered at the place? I heard he said he wants something different and natural too. Natural? How do you mean natural? If he summons all the girls, we will want to dress in our best. In that way, he might make a wrong choice, so he wants something natural. Hey, in that case, we shouldn't have dressed this way. All these makeups, they don't look natural. We should have appeared with that makeup. Please, that's please, please, that's left for you. If you want to wear off your makeups, that's your business. As for me, I'm going just the way I am. No, 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 come, come now, it's this way, it's this way. Son, you've not told me anything meaningful. Time, mother. A little more time is all I ask of you. <laughs> time. Time, they said, waits for no one. It's exactly two weeks you've been searching for this girl. I know. I will still find her, mom. When? When? The throne of Uduma Kingdom has been empty. Ever since your father joined his ancestors, are we going to search for eternity for this girl? No, not for eternity. As a matter of fact, my spirit tells me I will find her soon. Okay, so I am beginning to lose it. I am beginning to lose it. Mother, please. Mother, a little more time. Son, I am beginning to lose it. A little more time, mom. Time is what we do not have. Time is what we do not have here! Get that into your skull! Rubbish! Ah. Where have you been? Why are you just coming back? Before I could get to Ikpandu Forest, some girls had already gotten there before me. So I had to trek to Ohiago Forest and pack the firewood. Some girls had gone there before you because you are a lazy girl. They got there before you. And look at the small firewood we were able to fetch. If you had gathered a lot, you wouldn't need to go back there tomorrow. And waste my time. I'm sorry, no. Before I shut my eyes and open them, eh? You would have gone to fetch water for me. Eh? Look at the time I haven't even started cooking. What kind of a 
I will soon come back now. Soon be ready. Yeah, 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 yeah. If I wait for you to come back and run, so I will kill you. Come on, get out. Fool. Hey. I got my cousin. Is it not now that uh, Olama is coming back from fetching firewood? She has gone to fetch water. There's no water for me to cook with. You mean I will continue to wait until Olama comes back from the stream before you cook for me? Huh? No, will I cook with my urine? What was Oledo doing when Olama went to fetch firewood? She would have gone to fetch water at the same time. No, how can Oledo go to fetch water for that slave girl? She doesn't even know who her parents are. You want her to sit down and eat my food for nothing? Why my daughter will be going on errand for her? That is not possible now. Because you can't have time, you can't leave me here. Now, will you give me money to go and buy water from tank? Yeah, be a subum, a subum. You have to wait now until she comes back. Because me, I, I can't use my hand. You don't have any machine to me. How are you? Fine, thank you, my prince. What is your name? My name is Ola. Ola? Ola? Yes, my prince. That's a good one. Are you from this kingdom? Yes, my prince. From what kindred? I Isiato kindred. Isiato kindred. Which family? Mwandu family. Mwandu. What is your father's name? Maziyanyao, my prince. Oh, Maziyanyao. That's good. That's good. You are a very beautiful girl. Thank you, my prince. We shall come back for you, Ola, the favored one. My prince, please, can I be on my way now? Thank you. I saw her! I saw her, Mom! Really? The same picture I used to see in my dream. Every time I dreamed about this palace, I saw her flesh and blood. Did you speak with her? Oh, yes, mom, I did. Her name is Ola. She's from the Wando family okay. of the Seattle kindred. Okay. Her father's name is Ayawu. Ah! My God, I am so happy. At last, I am settled. I told you. I told you I was going to find her. I feel so happy. So happy. So fulfilled. I am happy for you, son. I am happy for you. So, when are we seeing you soon, Mom? I 
met the prince today. He spoke to me. What? Hey! Are you serious? And I, I met him at Yingodo, Yingodo Road. He stopped me and started asking me plenty, plenty questions. Plenty, plenty questions? Like what? Uh, what is my name? Where am I from? Things like that. What did you tell him? I hope you didn't tell him that you're a slave. No, I told him that my father is Anyahu and that I'm from this kindred. Hi! So, and, and what else did he say? He said he will come for me. <laughs> You're very lucky. I'm so happy for you. <laughs> ah, I'm so happy for you. Tai. Hmm. Small word. After all those girls that were flirting around him, he didn't even choose any of them for a wife. It is you that did not even apply anything on your face that he chose. Just like that. You're very lucky. <laughs> Oh, oh, I'm so happy for you. I'm so happy for you. Let's go. Let's go through this. What happened yesterday? No, I don't understand. What did you tell her yesterday? Oh, okay. That this the prince spoke to me. Get it? No, no I, I did not go to him. Oh. He just stopped and started asking me questions. What did you tell him? My name and Papa's name. Which Papa? My husband? Yes, no. What name did you give? Ola. Just that? Just that, no. Ola. Good. Now listen. Hold your ears. The prince did not see you yesterday. He saw my daughter, Alida. Hmm? If I ever hear you discuss with anybody, not even my husband, what transpired between you and, and the prince? Hi! No, I swear, I swear, I will not tell anybody else. It's only Olaido I told, I swear. Better for you. Come on! Grind what? was just the guard at the gate. Did you need to come to the palace? You should have given this to the guard at the palace instead of coming here. Are you stupid? Now leave. Leave. I want to tell you Thank you. 